What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. Today we're gonna to talk about WordPress web hosting. The proof is in the data. Now while we host a lot of our clients' websites on GoDaddy Managed WordPress or GoDaddy cPanel, we also have started to try hosting our websites on WP Engine. Now WP Engine costs significantly more than GoDaddy, but the proof is in the data that speed matters and WP Engine has proven to be a lot faster than GoDaddy Managed WordPress. So we have migrated data-driven.design over to uh, WP Engine from GoDaddy Managed WordPress and we're monitoring the data. And today's data-driven daily tip is how to migrate your current WordPress website over to WP Engine. We've done a data-driven daily tip on how to migrate it over into GoDaddy Managed WordPress. And today we're showing small business owners and marketers how to migrate their WordPress website over to WP Engine. It's super easy. So for those of you listening on the podcast, I'm going to do my best to describe it. For those of you watching on my screen right now, you can see I'm logged into my.wpengine.com. I've purchased a hosting plan. And all I need to do is download a plugin in my current website hosted on GoDaddy. Uh, migrate my site to WP Engine plugin. And then once I do that, I'm gonna take the settings, which is literally just four pieces of information. I'm gonna copy and paste. It's an SFTP uh, server address, username, and password along with the destination URL. Um, so what we're doing right now is, step number one is basically going into your WP Engine admin, getting these um, pieces of information, these four pieces of information, then going over to your current WordPress site, putting the WP Engine plugin, migrate my site to WP Engine plugin into that site, entering those pieces of information. So what's gonna happen is, in between step one and step two, WP Engine is gonna set up a staging environment. It's gonna migrate your website over into that staging environment so that you can QA it before you then point your domain name over to WP Engine. So you're gonna see this uh, blog vault tool that WP Engine uses to migrate your site. My site migration in total took almost all day because there was a lot of uh, data and information uh, in my database. Um, hundreds and hundreds of blog posts, images, things like that. A lot of content on datadriven.design. But then once, it's, once it migrates over, you will then have a staging URL. Mine was drivenbydata.wpengine.com. I could QA it. And then all I needed to do from there was point my DNS A record over to the WP Engine IP address, hop on the chat with WP Engine support, have them install the SSL certificate, and I was up and running on WP Engine. Now the internal permalinks do need to be changed within the general settings of WordPress, but that's pretty easy to do. And you can ask the WP Engine support people to help you with doing that. Uh, so it's super, super easy. What we're trying to do is pull back the curtain on a lot of this uh, IT mumbo jumbo about WordPress and WordPress hosting. This is for anybody. This is for small business owners. This is for one person websites. Uh, if you wanna get fast, you wanna get speedier, which helps your SEO. And obviously your page speed load time is big for your users. They want fast. Uh, WP Engine, um, the proof is in the data that it's quite significantly better than GoDaddy. Uh, like I said, we still have a lot of our, our clients on GoDaddy just due to the cost. Uh, GoDaddy does a great job. There's nothing wrong with it, but we wanted to step up our game on our website. So we moved over to, to WP Engine and um, so far we're seeing great results. This has been your data-driven daily tip. For more free digital marketing tips, go to dataoveropinions.com. We also encourage you to up your digital marketing game. Uh, if you're somebody who just doesn't have the budget to pay an agency for digital strategy or Facebook ads or Google ads services, Google analytics services, content creation services, email marketing, this is all stuff that you can learn how to do on your own super easily. So we've got datadrivenacademy.org that you can sign up for less than $80 a month or for less than $800 for the year if you wanna get a discount on that. You can go ahead and sign up uh, right now at datadrivenacademy.org, you get access to us, our team, and live access sessions, and you also get uh, a ton of uh, video and um, written content lessons uh, that are for members only. So, 
up your digital marketing game at datadrivenacademy.org. Thanks for listening on the podcast at datadrivenpodcast.com. Thanks for watching on YouTube and IGTV. Uh, YouTube is youtube.com slash Paul Hickey. And uh, listening on the Alexa Flash Briefing, datadrivendaily.com. Thanks and have a great day.